Hello, everyone, and welcome back to your favorite podcast, Experience Points, where us queer people jaunt around the universe doing all kinds of crazy things and getting into random shenanigans. I'm your friendly neighborhood GM, Miyu, and joining me today is our cast. I'm Kelrick. I play Angus uh, Noir, who is no longer an engineer, even though it's what my name block says. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm Taylor. I play Dr. Phaedra with Senva, the and the current engineer. Mm -hmm. No longer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Megan. I play Akira, and I have always been the captain. <laughs> I'm Punder. I play Absco Cash, who is the pilot. And joining us today, we have a very special guest. I would like for you to say hello to Jess uh, from the podcast Bitches and Liches. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Jessica. I'm the lead editor for the podcast network Bitch Team Alpha, and we feature podcast articles and streams created and hosted by a bunch of bitches. Uh, <laughs> and I'm also the GM for the actual play podcast Bitches and Liches, which uh, in which we play Blue Rose. And today I'll be playing Sista. She's a, a Kasatha Solarian, and I'm excited to join you. Yes, welcome. Woo! Welcome uh, to our crazy, crazy crew. Uh, you're going to wonder what the hell you just signed up for <laughs> here in just a few minutes. So uh, we would like the engineer's report, please. Dr. Phaedra Lasenva's personal log. All none are great. I literally can't find anything wrong with her, even from a medical standpoint. She says she used to be an adventurer like us, didn't go into much detail about it. I'll have to ask her more about it another time. Our ship has finished getting its outfit, and Captain Kira found a Kasatha tailor named George to come with us. At least we'll, we will all be well-dressed wherever we go. Yes. So, thank you. Where we last left off, you guys did indeed find George the tailor, who, uh, <laughs> whose main qualification for joining your crew was that he was quite large. <laughs> um, Angus may have uh, gone on a rant about this at the end of our last episode. <laughs> but they have. have. He, he can uh, like I, shoot I, a gun when the, he's lucky. <laughs> I think the uh, consensus was that perhaps you should find somebody else to go with you just in case you need more than a tailor. The only person who was not on board with this seemed to be the captain, <laughs> who was like, I don't make mistakes. I brought a tape. <laughs> <laughs> I totally meant to do that. The secret weapon is fashion. <laughs> Which, oddly <laughs> enough, I am not against. <laughs> Sometimes all you need to get you through is just a really killer outfit. Yep, exactly. My armor is going to be styling by the time we land, is all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, with, with this in mind, uh, what is your plan from here as we catch up back up to our heroes? I use that term loosely. Uh, <laughs> standing around their ship debating the merits of taking only a tailor with them. Um, well, I, I guess uh, uh, like my first question is, like, environmentally, has the alarm gone off from the... Um, the area where you know we shot a, a weapon in in the docking bay or loading bay. Oh yes, and and <laughs> that was all George. Guards have have come rushing in. Uh, fire crews. There is quite a scene <laughs> going on as uh, George stands there with a smoking pistol in his hand. No, uh, Absco took the pistol away from him right away. So Absco, yeah. oh, Absco stands there with the smoking Absco. pistol in his hand. Yeah, I, I need to know if I need to hide somewhere. It's really all I'm asking. You have been standing still for a minute, I'm sure. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think everyone just kind of looks at you as they come rushing in and they see the the shots, you know, the, the can that's been shot and they see you standing there with the pistol. And they just kind of sigh deeply. I don't think this is the first time someone has fired off, uh, a visitor to the complex has fired off a firearm in the hangar. Okay. That's um, very scary for a secret base. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they'll be fine. <laughs> so yes, they go off about their business, making sure that they have, there's no fires set or anything like that. Um, well, um, if we're going to um, look for someone else to uh, join us on our trip to EOX, uh, maybe we should complete that. Or if we are secure in, in our choices, we should leave. I'm going to look at George, and I'm going to say... Uh, George smiles at you. 
real big. George. Um, um, yeah. Can do you have any friends who might be better at, I don't know, firing a starship gun? Any friends at all? <laughs> who can That's shoot a gun <laughs> on a starship? And have had practice at this. That is not a video game. He's thinking about it. Any friends at all? Looks like he's <laughs> he's thinking really hard. He's thinking really hard. I start snack. rubbing his shoulders or like wherever. <laughs> <laughs> the shoulders for the all lower right. set of arms. <laughs> <laughs> and George looks like he's gotten an idea, but then he goes back to thinking. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but then, then he does have an idea. Yeah. Uh, I got, I got a friend. Uh, his name's, his name's Bob. Bob. Uh, and, and do tell, what does Bob do? Ah, uh, he shoots guns on starships. Oh, right. In real life? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's doing it right now. Is he, is he here or is he on a starship shooting a gun? No, he, he's on a starship shooting guns. Uh, oh, well, uh, at, we'll at, if, leave Bob to Parker. his... I don't, know what <laughs> I don't think that Bob can help us right now. Okay. Uh, Bob okay. help us. Okay. Um, <laughs> can, uh... Why don't you, George, why don't you go in? Can you, can you make me something? Uh, yeah. What do you need? I need a cape. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Does anyone I mean, else here? Do, do you want like one of those little half capes, or, or do you want a square cape, or, or do you want it rounded, or uh, I can put some filigree on the edges? Uh, uh, <laughs> what, what kind of cape are you looking at? Uh, do, you, do you want glitter and sequins? Absolutely. Let's do. My eyes might have just started to lit. <laughs> Did you say glitter and sequins? <laughs> um. Oh <laughs> yeah, uh, glitter and sequins. He pulls out. He opens up his box and. He's got like 15 different colors of sequins and like 20 different types of glitter. I need okay. it. A very bright pink. Oh, and okay. It's got to fit me, obviously, but like it's got to be real, real big and long. Oh, okay. I can do that. Yeah. All right. Why don't you get to work on that? And we're going to, we're going to collect some things before we take off here. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. Yeah. It still sounds like sweet on this cape. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna turn to Phaedra, and um, do we all know she went on a, 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 a date? I mean, I know Hunter know Absco knows that they went on a date. Do the oh yes. Yeah. Okay. I don't think I I don't think uh, that Angus does because Angus tucked himself away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Elsewhere. So maybe somebody else can have Phaedra reach out to Solomon for a gun. Gotcha. Gotcha help uh i'll, I'll side Azar, up. i was already texting her oh good <laughs> good yeah i mean absco would sidle up to phaedra and be like um since you have an in with solomon could you see if there's you know someone a little bit more suitable i mean the captain's friend is just fine but we do need some extra hands uh yeah hold on, let me finish this text message to her real quick do you think I should go with shrimp emoji or surfboard emoji? Uh, <laughs> shrimp? I thought so too, and I sent her like six shrimp emojis. <laughs> <laughs> and then after that, I text her, um, hey, uh, do you think that there is another person that could help us on EOX? Send. After a few moments, you get back. Oh, good. She didn't cat wait emoji. Me <laughs> you, get, you get a cat emoji. Nice. And uh, <laughs> two different moon emojis and a house. All right. Okay. <laughs> Followed by, I'm not sure if I did that right, <laughs> but I will be there. I will meet you in the hangar shortly. Okay, cool. Thanks. <laughs> Send. <laughs> After just a few minutes, in walks Solomon along with Ikasatha. Would you like to explain what they see when you walk in, please, Jess? Uh, yeah. Uh, so Sitsa is very tall. She's about six seven. Um, she's got mostly gray, like grayish blue skin with some red markings on her face. 
Um, and like many Kasatha, she's wearing a face mask. She's got like a cloth uh, scarf covering her mouth. Um, yeah, that's and she's got four arms, like all Kasatha do. Nice. Okay. Armored in and casual clothes. What are we talking here? I mean, high heels. Oh yeah, she's heels, comfortable. <laughs> heels, what, what the doing? highest heels you've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> so like, really, she's stuck. like nine foot tall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's got kind of like subtle armor on, so like it would be easy to cover it with with clothes if she needed to. But she also is sort of like, I'm wearing armor and I'm not ashamed about it. And she also just comes in with a little bit of an attitude. Like she walks in and her top two arms are like crossed over her chest, and her bottom two are like on our hips. Like, what, <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> awesome. Solomon comes in <clears throat> with this uh, kasatha and says, "So." I understand you're looking for a little bit of backup on this mission. I think that would be helpful. Yes, absolutely. As uh-huh. well, I feel that your mission is of the utmost importance, and so I'm going to attach to you my own personal aid, Sitsa. Ah, huh? welcome. That is very generous of you. <laughs> uh, yeah, Hel- hello. <laughs> 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 Uh, so it's like it was just like a very slight bow of her head and says, hello, it's nice to meet all of you. And the look on her face makes it clear that she doesn't think it's nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> Charmed, and I'm Solomon, sure. Uh, Solomon just looks at you, Sitsa, and goes, and now I leave you in their wait, capable hands. Wait, wait. Um, Solomon, uh, do we need any uh, particular equipment for going to Eox? Is that is that something we need to worry about to breathe? She looks at you, gives this little shrug, and goes, <laughs> you should be fine. Oh, it's going to be one of those adventures. Okay. okay. <laughs> you should be just fine. Oh, I'll be fine somehow. It'll be fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's it's our motto. Everything's fine. We should really have this on shirts. Everything's fine. <laughs> <laughs> is is that going to be our first pers- piece of merch? <laughs> it's the, EQ, the EQP symbol, and they're like, everything's going to be fine. Yeah. Well, if anyone remembers what the mission we're going on is, I'm happy to go. <laughs> we're, we're looking for the adventure hook on uh, EOX. That's right. Let's go look for that adventure hook. Was that was that in character? Did Angus just say that? No. So, so so unimpressed. No, I did not. <laughs> what, you couldn't tell the lack of accent? <laughs> I mean, You're right, absolutely. I'm so consistent. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, Solomon looks at uh, Sitsa with what can only be described as pity in her eyes. <laughs> as she, well, pity mixed with mild amusement as she walks away leaving Sitsa with her new crew. I'm going to lean into Phaedra and say, I wonder what she did wrong. (laughs) (laughs) Could have been something right. (laughs) No, No, I don't think so. Not not to be joining our crew. This is all very quiet. Watching all of you like mumble and like stare at her and she's like, so are we going to get going anytime soon? Or is this pretty much par for the course with this group? Oh, I'm sorry. We're just used to people asking permission (laughs) to to come on the ship. That's all. We were waiting for that courtesy. Our our, our apologies. Please, after you. (laughs) (laughs) I've got just like a a grand tour, like lifts their hand and says, this is our ship. This is the Zephyr. (laughs) I'm the pilot, Absco. And like, they extend a hand to you. Uh, Sitsa will reach out with two of her hands and give you a great double shake. All right, yeah. Uh, uh, picture, like, is that one hand grabbing the hand and the other, like, tapping the forearm? How does that work? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's like what I was imagining. Like, one person reaches, with, like, they reach out with one hand, and then Sitsa goes, like, okay, just let me... Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then the other's, like, up here. It's like, okay, yeah, okay. I'm just shaking yeah. your whole arm off. It's, it looks exactly as awkward as it sounds. Awesome. <laughs> it does it totally straight face, like this is the most normal thing. And, and welcome to our podcast as we go on these tangents, because we're like, oh, that sounds interesting. Has nothing to do with anything. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Half hour later. Um, and I'm just like, well, 
let's just, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go and do some pre-flight checks in the flight deck. So, allons-y. <laughs> just let me know where I will be most effective, and I will be happy to take my place there. Captain, I'll leave that to you. And I, I get on the ship as soon as possible. I just follow him. <laughs> I'm like, mm, we're out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we we're probably gonna need you on the guns, so that they're they're located over here, and then so I'll take her like onto the ship and, and take her to the area where she's gonna be standing. And Phaedra just shrugs and follows. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do some did, systems checks. Yeah. Did, did we get George onto the ship? Yes. Okay. <laughs> that that's important yeah. to know. <laughs> He's making yeah, a case. Yeah, George is, well, at the moment, George is going and buying bright pink cloth. Oh, <laughs> we may leave without him then. <laughs> you might. There is a chance here. <laughs> That's up to the captain. <laughs> uh, all right, let's 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 give him 10 minutes while Absco does his, their, like, pre-flat checks. And, and um, if he's not here in 10, we'll check outside maybe he got lost you do have his number, if he's... number don't you yes <laughs> maybe a little texty poo will help <laughs> oh I, I can text him and I pull it out and I would like to say where are you but it doesn't look like that nope it says it says who are you <laughs> and I'm oh, right. going back and I <laughs> it, it goes off after like like 20 seconds he's right on it it says seven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he'll be here soon yeah he'll be here soon Absco's just like flicking the power switch on and off like every couple of like seconds like you, you hear the engines go and then you, you, you. like they are so ready to go. <laughs> are, are we going to do 10 minutes of byplay while we wait? <laughs> or can I don't we know just, like, fast forward? I don't know if we can vamp for 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and George has arrived with a bolt of bright pink cloth under his arm, as well as his box under one of his other arms. And his... Braise. Nope, it's cool. Go on. Brazing boom. And it appears the crew is all here. Get on the ship. What Let's it go. is worth. All right, let's go. Let's go. Are, we, are we ready to leave, Captain? I think so. Oh, thank gods. <laughs> uh, Absco is going to do a uh, computer check to make sure that the course is set. Okay. Oh. <laughs> but With the nine. Yeah, 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 yeah. As far as you know, the course is already plugged in. Captain, can you make sure that we're ready to, you know, leave out of here, that the that Solomon's crew has the bay doors open and all that fun stuff? As the science officer, should I be the one double-checking your stuff? I don't know. I mean, I check sensors and stuff. Would that also include... I don't know, Captain. What's the uh, What's the science officer supposed to do? Science. <laughs> <laughs> I will I map the shit answer. out of this. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I think you should definitely check everything twice. Oh, my God. <laughs> We're so ready. ready. We're so <laughs> ready to go. I, I, I think we've been here too long. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to roll a piloting check. Make sure that, you know, we, we're ready to... Blast why, off. why don't you clear? Make sure that we're cleared with um, the the docking bay to be able to take off. Otherwise, you know, blast people out who came in to clean up your gun mess. Alright, do I like open a comm to do that? I feel like I yeah, perhaps sure. yeah, sure, <laughs> cool. Alright, that's what I do. Call in somebody. <laughs> we're so good at this. Oh. I just <laughs> I love that. I just, I just picture Kira. Uh, Somebody? <laughs> Are we okay to take off? <laughs> How do you work this thing? I guess well, you have, in all, in all fairness, in all fairness, your ship is quite upgraded from when you yeah. last stepped foot on it. That's yeah. why everyone's struggling. It, it's like a brand new ship for you. Basically. Yes, so, so Kira is now, how do I work this dang thing? 
Okay, go ahead. What are you doing, Taylor? Systems check. Ah. Tempting. Ooh. All systems she... are go. It didn't. Sh it's weird. I saw. I... I saw a twelve roll up up there. But I don't see it. On I don't the... see anything in the log. Oh, but there, there, it is. Is. Oh, there he goes. A twenty. So, twenty. All systems are go. You're just the We're best frozen. engineer. All right. Okay. Absco pushes the throttle down. I, don't, I, I honestly don't know what these controls look like. <laughs> <laughs> it's, that is completely up to you. You are the pilot. What do your controls look like? This is like a throttle, like in uh, the the new Star Trek movies. Pushes a throttle. Oh. With a twenty-seven. When it counts. <laughs> with a twenty-seven, Absco does a loop-de-loop -loop on the way out. <laughs> as, as up above you, everything opens up. You get the clearance. Absco hits the throttle and just straight up at just the slightest angle before looping just above everything and shooting off into an escape trajectory. Cool. So, what do we have to do? We have to um, shut stuff down and then engage the drift drive to get to Eox. Well, you could try to get there on thrusters if you feel like spending a few years on the trip. Nope. Nope. <laughs> but uh, there would be uh, input. If you even just look at your coordinates, you see that input there is a uh, place for you to engage your drift drive. Uh, it's far enough away to not give away that you're engaging drift close to uh, the secret base. But... Oh. It's a place for you. Yes, you do have to shut down several things in or and, and come to a complete stop in order to uh, engage your drift drive. All right. So I guess that's our pilot's job. Sure. Uh, computers. Yeah. And how, how much? All right. Do you have so to turn so, uh, I I believe we decided you had to turn off your thrusters. Yeah. Uh, in order to have enough PCU to turn on your drift drive, which you had to shut off your thrusters anyway. Okay. And you don't so, have thrusters in the drift. Yeah, I'll, I'll run a computer's check to get the thrusters offline. Okay. So you arrive where uh, at the coordinates and prepare. You plug in your, uh, your drift calculation, and you are preparing to jump to a drift beacon near EOX. Such a waste. Rolled a natural 20. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You, you shut the hell out of those engines. Like, they are <laughs> off. <laughs> Done. I imagine it was like just, just like pushing a button. <laughs> just as you are about to engage the drift drive, um, Angus. Yes. Something pops up on your screen. Yeah. You're getting a hail. Okay. Uh, do I press a button to accept it? How does that work? So yeah, uh, sure. whatever I have to do. Yeah, do you, you do you accept accept the hail? Tell the captain what are you doing? Uh, oh, you're being I, hailed. <laughs> sure, I should tell the captain. I guess she counts. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> the quote unquote captain. Oh, excuse, excuse me, I'm a little. So what used, what is uh what has Sitsa done getting on this and and taking this short little jaunt out of ways? Just a couple of hours on the ship, watching um, she... this crew. <laughs> she got herself set up in the like gunner section to get ready in case she's needed. Um, and when she realized like nothing was going on, she was just sort of observing the rest of the crew and just being real quiet about it. Just very <laughs> carefully observing. Okay. Well, yes, you have a uh, a hail incoming. All right, Captain, we have a, a, a hail incoming from another ship or oh, somewhere. No. I don't know where. This again. All right, accept it. All right, I will open comms. Okay. And you are greeted by this face and a voice that oh. says, well, 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 look what we got here, boys. A nice fat cargo ship. As soon as he says that, can I scan his ship? You can scan for his ship. I will scan for his ship. That's a 19, not including the bonus from the the computer, so it would be a 21. Okay, a 21. Oh, With not. your scan of 21, mm -hmm. you realize that not only is his ship there, which you recognize as being uh, based on a, was it, Redshift Pleasure Sail, 
But there are two other ships closing in from the aft. Oh, dear. No. Yes, it seems that you have stumbled into an ambush. Uh, his ship, the main, the one that hailed you, mm -hmm. is that one. Oh, that's quite pretty. Uh, it has an enormous solar sail. That's and what I hear you about recognize that it, You recognize it to be Versite in uh, design. Okay. And the two closing in on you look oh. like that. And you recognize those to be, they're, they're much smaller. They're like a little oh. single, maybe two person fighter crafts, but they are Eoxian in design. And they definitely have their targeting systems on. So first thing I do is I hit the mute button. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and I, um, if, is there a red alert sort of button I can push? Because if there is, you I wish to go to know. Red Alert. Yeah, this is bad. <laughs> <laughs> is the opposite of good. Yep. And so, and then I, I, I turn to everyone and I'm like, well, it looks like we're under attack by three ships now. So, hey, hey. <laughs> it's a good thing we got some upgrades. <laughs> and I look at Jess and say, I think you might be wanting to get back to those guns. Yeah, Sitsa runs back to the, the gunner section. Um, and... I, I turn to the captain and I'm like, Captain, what do, what do you want us to do? I mean, Absco, can well, you get us into the drift? What are we doing? Are we fighting this? We can either fight or if we can ski that out of here, I'd like to do that too. Uh, so um, out of character, um, what would we need to do to run into the drift? Like for, in this situation, would it be possible? You would have to ignite your drift engines mm -hmm. and that takes one minute. Mm. So that's, it takes that's one minute. So you are currently sitting here, no thrusters, mm -hmm. and it will be, and you're about a minute out from igniting your drift engine. That's several rounds, yeah. That is it's about ten rounds. About right? ten rounds. Sweet. Of being unable to move because you cannot ignite your your thrusters while you're igniting your drift engine. You are in the process of rerouting power from the, and from the thrusters to the drift engine. Um. I, I turn to the captain and I say, we won't have enough time to get to the drift. I think we should stop rerouting power and fire up the thrusters again. Well, then that's what we're going to do. All right, so I'm going to already just fire up the thrusters. Um, so that is another computer check for ABSCO. That is actually going to need to be an engineering check. Oh. power ooh. was being rerouted. That's true. Theta. So that will have to be... Done be and that will have to be done during the engineering phase here. Oh, we're, we we're now in combat. Begin combat. Oh yes, they are locked on and they are moving in. And so we begin ship to ship combat. Where are we in the map? I only see three ships, and there should be four. Scroll to the right. You should be in the middle, and then there's one. Ah, I see. Ahead of you and two behind you. Yeah, you're you're surrounded at this moment. Eh. We're in three-dimensional space. We're sort of surrounded. <laughs> sort of surrounded. <laughs> sort of surrounded. Well, okay. okay. So we begin with the engineering phase. So this All would right, be the phase in which you are going to. On. Yep. There you go. That's hmm. the ten. <laughs> ten. The question is, well, would a twelve be enough if you used one of the plus two bonuses we get? Do you want to use that uh, to make it a 12 before we know the answer? Because yeah. we have a, we get two plus twos every round. So do you want to just make it a 12 and see what happens? Every round, then yeah. Yeah. So every cycle through everyone's job, we, we get plus, yep. we can add two plus twos. Uh, so. it, it's uh, per round. So starting with the, uh, starting with the engineering phase and helm and gunner, uh, across all of that, only after the gunnery phase do they refresh. That's right. right. So, do you want to use it or no? Okay, so we'll make it a 12. Yep. All right. With a 12, your thrusters fire back online. Woo! Asuka <laughs> <laughs> uh, has something to do this round. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. And so now it is the helm and we need opposed piloting checks. Oh, my dog. Um, but that's plus three. So 21? Okay. Yes. That out in the open. 
29. Wow. Uh, from him, and then the other, and that's from the guy in front of you. Molly, we in danger, girls. There we go. <laughs> okay, and then the necrogliders. Okay, so it looks like the uh, necrogliders are going to be going after or before you. So it's necrogliders, then you guys, then the pleasure sail. All right, so let's see as the necrogliders move forward. Ooh, they're fast. Oh, thank you. Uh, one necroglider comes blazing in toward your aft side as the other one comes blazing in toward the uh, other aft side. So you have them on uh, pretty much both of them seem to be aft starboard. All right. And what's our movement? Uh, it's six. Um, which direction are we facing? We're facing towards the one that hasn't There you go. Yet. Perfect, uh, thank you. Okay, um, so... Moving one uh, towards the pleasure rider, turning um, kind of away and moving one. Do you want to try one of the okay. stunts? Uh, not yet. Okay. Um, now I'm moving up towards the uh, northernmost necroglider. They'll be just out of our forward arc. I suppose I can turn one more time. Okay. Yeah, you do have one more turn if you would like. Yeah, turn towards the necroglider. You loop back around and come in so that you are basically between the two necrogliders. Uh, you have them both in your forward arc. Yeah. Okay. As the pleasure cruiser, let's see, what's your, okay. It comes looping around, uh, still coming up now on your aft side. Holy smoke, that was a lot of movement. They're fast. These ships are fast. They are. Okay. And the science officer can act, if you would like. Yeah. Um, I'm going to do a, I guess I need to scan the ships to learn what I can. So Okay. Uh, is there more to learn about the first ship? As far oh, as, there's plenty to learn. All right. I'm going to focus on the two necrogliders so that we know what we're facing from two of the ship sources. Okay. So that's a 19 for scanning. 19. Uh, let's see here. The DC being 10 plus the tier plus uh, defensive countermeasures. If this is counted as a military action, you would either subtract five from the DC or add plus five to my roll, whatever's easiest. Yep, yep. Okay, so that's easy 24. enough. Yeah. Uh, okay, so you know that their speed is 12. They have a perfect turning radius. Oof. Oof. Um, they have... Do I know weapons or shields? You know power? that they are... Uh, yeah, you know that their shields, their total shielding is 10. Three forward, three aft, and two port and starboard. Okay. So port and starboard is where we want to focus fire if we can. And what about weapons? Do I know anything about those? Uh, yeah, actually, I mean, that was, a, that was a really good check. So uh, you can tell that they are equipped with a gyro laser and a light EMP cannon each. All right, so I'll get on comms. In, for, so in their forward arcs. Okay. That's the only way they can fire is from their forward arc. Oh, that's really good to know. So I share all of that information with everyone um, across mm -hmm. the board so that you know what we're looking at. And my suggestion is we start using these ships as best we can to block or to shield ourselves since there doesn't seem to be anything else out here. Are there any asteroids or anything we can use? Uh, no, you are in clear space. Okay. Okay. Well, that's my turn. All right, and now we go to gunnery. All right. Uh, uh, let's see the order for gunnery. We're still trying to like totally get star our starship combat down. Uh, the one necroglider I don't think has a shot at you in its arc. Yay! Aren't dry, and uh, but the other one can definitely take a shot at you. And he is going to with a. Five versus your AC. Oh. Oh. Ooh, that is a nat 20. So that is 25. Ouch. I'm scared. What is your critical threshold here? Uh, uh, 11. It's 11 is your crit threshold. For not good. Critics. 
Not okay. Good. Well. At least 15 is absorbed by shields. Yeah. Which means only 10. Yeah, or... so they're fire. They're firing at your forward. Well, no, they're firing at your forward, and the damage on that, I'm looking for it. Uh, damage is 1d8. Oh. Seven. So your ship loses seven shields at before. Okay. So you still have eight shields forward. All right, now it's your turn to fire. Don't forget you have the plus two. Okay. Um. So in that case, so are both of the... These, the two ships on the left in our arc. So your your ship is equipped with. Let's see. You have two turrets uh, with light laser cannons on them, which can fire in any arc. They're okay. also within your forward arc, which is the light torpedo launcher. And okay. the two turrets yeah. can fire as one weapon. We have them linked, right? So if you fire with one, you're. Yes, I believe. Uh, did Did you guys have them linked? Those what? Uh, I think yeah, that's I think you did have them months, linked. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Cool. So you have links. So you get to fire both light laser cannons in one one go. Okay. I'll do that then. Okay. Um, can I split the fire on both of them, or do I have to use fire at will for that? I think you have to use fire at will for that. Let me look at it. Okay. I'll I'll focus fire on the one close to us mm-hmm. first, so that we're taking something down, hopefully. Okay. Is that computers? Um... Uh, it is going to be. Hold on. Gun. Uh. Gunnery is a 1d20 plus your base attack bonus or your ranks in the piloting skill plus your dex mod plus bonus from computers. So, oh, geez. That's so, so many things. So it would be so, plus so d20 it, and then so, plus two. So three, four, five, six. So plus six. Plus six. Yep. Yes. Woo! 22. Oh, yes. That is indeed a hit. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'd get on the comms and say, welcome to the crew. <laughs> she gets back and, out and says, "Thanks for having me." <laughs> With the comms yeah, off. So, uh, Did you absolutely. Sound sarcastic to anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, two D eight. Right. That is going to be two D four. Oh, they're light laser cannons. That's right. Yes. Mm, All right. That great. is four against their shields uh which you ended up firing on the which i'm sorry which one the did you fire on the ship to the north or the the one more south the one to the north because i figured that would get us on the side with fewer shields. yes indeed in fact you have done two damage to it as shields go away uh, would it be another uh, 2d4 since it was a linked one? Uh, a, uh, a it is. Well, it's, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Now it's another, uh, yeah, another 2d4. My bad. Excellent. Yeah. Nice. So you end up doing seven damage to it. You rock it. I mean, yeah. their shield just disappears, and you have absolutely blasted this ship. A uh, big old hole shows uh, appears in its hull, crazily. Let's see what the. This other guy can do to you. I mean, no, no, you no. know. <laughs> no, that's okay. They can roll a one. It's fine. Can they? Uh, Fifteen. I don't think that's going to break your AC it as matches. they fire their. Fifteen uh, is our AC. Oh, fifteen. Yep. Then it yeah, does. It's just yep. hits. Then it does. Oh, that sucks. Okay. As their coil gun goes off. Ooh. Rocking you with 11 damage on your port side. Still didn't get through the shields, so that's good. Woo! They're down to four. That's not good, but still didn't get through. No, <laughs> they did not get through your shields. It appears investing in your shields was a great choice. <laughs> and so that ends damage round the starboard one. Side. Oh, okay. thank you. Okay. And now we go back to engineering phase. Engineers, do your thing. Okay, so... Actually, hang on, because I just realized you may have actually done... Oh, nope, not quite. Close, close. Okay. I was looking to see if you did uh, crit damage to the uh, Eoxian ship. Mm. Not quite. Close. Go ahead. (laughs) Okay, so do... Okay, as a team here, do you guys want me to the shields <clears throat> yeah okay 
Yeah, I, I think just think shields. that makes the most sense. Because we're going get, to keep getting hit. Yeah. So, patch? Um, actually, it's, it wouldn't be patch. It's uh, divert is what you're wanting to do. So it's still 14. Because, so. uh, because patch, patch would, uh, yeah, reduce the effects of a critical damage mm -hmm. condition, which you don't have. Diverting power yes. with a oh, natural 20. Wow. <laughs> you know what? That 20? Nice. You, di you pull all your shields back to maximum, throwing all the extra power you have back into the shields. Awesome. Um, I'm so glad we traded jobs. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thanks. Um, is this the, the same phase that um, the captain gets to go? The captain can act in pretty much any phase the captain mm -hmm. desires. Yes. Encouraging, threatening, do what you got to do. Let me encourage. Oh. Who I want okay. to encourage? Actually, what you could do is try to intimidate sky. the ship that did the most damage, which is just a comms thing. And then you, I think you rolled diplomacy. Oh. And if you. It's a demand. Is that, uh, and it's taunt? an intimidate. Okay. Or demand or taunt. Or, or demand, Taunt yeah. With... Whatever well, gives demand, them the improve one of your crew. I feel like I should either taunt. No. You uh, you keep breaking up. Me taunt. Cool. And I, I'm gonna I'm gonna get on get on the comms with them, and I'm gonna be like, you guys suck. So bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You do damage. <laughs> okay. Oh man. <laughs> so what's your roll? Ooh. Thirteen. Thirteen. It does not work. <laughs> it doesn't work. No. Uh you get on the comms and, and you tell them you suck, you guys can't do any damage, and you get back one brief little message, so is your mom. <laughs> 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 I don't understand these jokes that they got. <laughs> I don't get it. All right, pilots. Uh, don't worry Make about your it. Let's roles. just focus. <laughs> All right. This. Come on, baby. Nice. Woo! Woo! Another nat 30. 20. Yeah, check that out. That's really good. And then oh. 26. All right. Nice. Well, you get to move last. Sweet. So looks like first is going to be the sail ship. Actually, I think he's going to try to fly by. So he's going to try a stunt. <laughs> 20 plus two times the tier of the ship. So 26 is the DC. 25, Ooh. no, he cannot fly by. Awesome. Um, so he still moves and provokes a free attack from you guys during the gunnery phase. Nice. Cool. That's awesome. And 12. All right, so he swoops by you and then comes swinging back around uh, facing you. You can tell he was trying to fly by, but you managed to outmaneuver him, Absco, so that you got the shot instead of him. Nice. 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 All right, and then it is the... Yoxians who are also going to be trying their own flybys. 26. Okay, one of them gets a flyby. Ouch. I did say we're in danger, right? We're in danger. <laughs> 12. Facing you. It's that Simpsons meme. <laughs> I'm, I'm in danger. <laughs> and they're each going to get a shot, an extra shot on you. Is for there a, way? a free yeah. gunnery attack. All right. All right. So, uh, well, uh, go ahead. Um, Absco is going to uh, do evasion, um, which will okay. bump our, our AC and our uh, target lock by two if I succeed. Um, okay. And I'm going to use the computers, one of the computer plus twos for that. Okay. Um, but uh, what were you? 26. Yep. Uh, what were or you going to say? 16. No, it, Sorry. Yeah, 16. 16. What were you going to say, um, Kel? I was going to ask if we can use the other ships to as um, partial coverage to increase our AC against some of the shots. If like if he can move on the side of 
because they're all grouped in such a way that they're basically in a straight line if we can get on one side. Um, so uh, what happens in the combat is, um, I, maybe I should let Mio answer before I, I go into this. Well, it, it, this is a two-dimensional representation of three-dimensional space combat, mm -hmm. so they aren't actually in a line providing cover. Um, I will tell you what, if you can succeed your evade by five or more, you do put them in such a line Cool. as to count. I'll give you a little house rule there. Sweet. So, uh, plus five for all of that. Piloting. Oh. Hmm. 17. All right, you will not so, get the extra, but you do... You do I thought manage. the DC was 16. Yes, the DC 16. Yeah, I said if you, oh, right, if you five. exceed okay. your by five or more, yeah. Susan's but... Like, Okay. You did increase your AC by two and your target lock by two until the start of the next round, and you may new move as normal. Yes. Okay, so... Nice. No Which way are the, the... So, um... Oh, did, yeah. hold on. Cause did, yeah, I, I did have him do his... Uh, the sailing ship is facing, has, is facing kind of mm -hmm. against you, like heading towards you. Uh, the Oxian in front of you is facing across your path, and the Oxian behind you is facing your aft. Okay. So we don't have to worry about the Oxian that's in front of us because we're not in its firing trajectory unless we move into it. Right, so uh, I'm going to move along the... But they lines. are each getting a, a, uh, a free shot. The Oxians Absolutely. are. Right. So I'm moving along the firing trajectory of one of them for one. Yep. I'm going to turn kind of head bearing south. Uh, uh, I guess southeast. that's... Southeast. Southeast. And then turn facing them. Doesn't that put us directly in the line of fire for the ship that we weren't in line of fire for? Nope. Okay. No! You Ooh. are actually in a really good position. That's the joy of getting to move last. Cool. Uh, so you blast through them bobbing and weaving as shots begin firing around and then come into this nice sliding turn, bringing them all back into your forward arc. Sweet. Nice. So, okay. My turn to do a computer now check. Now it is, uh, yeah, if you wish to do a computer's check, if you wish to take a, an action here. Yes. Um, I get on the comms and I, I'm like, what is Jess's character's name? Sitsa? Sitsa. Sitsa. Mm. Oi, Sitsa. Who are you planning on shooting at? Uh, well, I was planning to shoot whoever's closest, I guess. I'd like to take out that that one that seems pretty close to death, but we've got this one right in front of us. All right, I will attempt to do a target lock on the closest one. Okay. So of... is that target system or because yes. lock on, you have to have six ranks in computers. So uh, you're targeting a system? Yes, I'm targeting a system. Which system do you wish to target? So the options are life support, weaponry, shields, and engines. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Let's go for weapons. Does that sound reasonable? Weapons or engines? Either's fine. Yeah. Yeah, right. I'm, good. I'm good with either. All right, well, let's shoot for their weapons then. All right. And you are firing for, he has locked you on to weapons, and now the gunnery phase. Um. Oh, that's going to be rough here. Let's see. So it looks like uh, only one of them has you in its current arc, and then each of the Oxians are going to get a shot against you. Let's see what so happens. So that'll be, there's one, 22, oh. with your upgraded, even with your upgraded AC, that one still gets through. And so as you're bobbing and weaving, you do get rocked by one, doing six to your aft. Cool. They can fire on any of your quadrants. Um, and then another shot here from the Eoxian. 23. Uh, that one's going to go to your aft as well, only doing two. Relief. And then oh no, the Eoxian aft. gets a shot <laughs> at your... Uh, <laughs> At your four. 14 is not going to break through, though. Good job. All right, go. and then let's see. Do Please I even have a alone. shot? <laughs> they do need to leave your aft alone. Um, they have a 
turret. So this is a flak thrower, which they are going to make a shot with. From the sailing ship, 22. Ah. Which just throws flak at you, doing five to your forward. None of your shields have given yet. I really feel like we should go. They never will. They do so much <laughs> and now damage. Sitsa. All right. Sitsa. Don't forget you have the plus two. We've been saving okay. one for you. Um, Sitsa's yep. going to fire on that thing that we're locked onto. Okay, on the Oxian little fighter here. Yeah. So is that plus six again? Uh, mm. Yes, it's plus six base, which is 12. And then are you taking the two from the computer Oops. aid? Yes. Okay. Uh, oh. So 14, yeah, you definitely hit. Oh, phew. So, wow. Oh, nice. And then, and I was doing all of the combined cannons again, the double cannons. Mm -hmm. So 44. Yep. Yes. Seven Ooh. damage. Two blasts out the shield and done five damage to it as you rock it pretty good. What is the bonus that I gave do? So the bonus that you gave mm -hmm. would have been a crit on a 19 or a 20 instead of just a 20. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. And if you had done critical damage, it would have affected the specific system you ah. you gave instead of having to roll to see what system it affected. Got it. All right, and we still so, get a free shot on the big starship because it failed its turn and burn or whatever it was doing. Yes, so you have a free mm -hmm. shot with any weapon from any arc. Can anyone say Okay. That? What's the torpedo damage? Your torpedo does 2d8. Ooh. All right, is that our strongest one? Do it. It is. Yes. Let's do that. Uh, 2d8 or 4d4, uh, your coil gun, they end up doing about the same damage. Your torpedo launcher goes against their uh, target lock, AC. OK, do we want to do that one? Yeah. Did we yeah. get the targo the target lock information? You, you still uh, no. D20. Mm, gotcha. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Not all all of a mute freeze. Yeah, yeah. yeah. my no. back yet? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Now you're Ooh, back. Sorry. My, my... Oh, you're back. But it's look fine. at that natural 20. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a very I good am, hit. Okay. That was a natural 20. 26. Not only do you do damage, you do critical damage. Yes. Heck so, yeah. You do 12 damage to the uh, to the sail ship. Mm -hmm. And now we will roll a D100 and see which system you hit. Ooh. 75 engines. means you just hit their engines. Their engines are glitching. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yes. You have severely impacted their engines. Well, let's do our best to... But yeah, Sitsa, Sitsa gets a, uh, it's a big blast with the torpedo nailing their engines as they tried to do their flyby. And so what does glitchy uh, do? Glitching? So... The engines, it decreases their piloting checks. Um, crew actions involving the system take a minus two penalty. Ooh. Sweet. So all pilot checks. Yeah, so okay. you just made sure their nice. pilot cannot maneuver as well. As the captain, uh, as, as this uh, torpedo has smashed into their engines, it becomes quite obvious that they have decided that this fight is not worth it. Yes. As the captain again comes up on the comms and says, you may have gotten away with it this time, but we'll get you again. And they take <laughs> off. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> they break off. You meddling kids. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, they, they break off from combat. The question is, do you wish to pursue them? Uh, no. The captain is shaking her head, no. But that doesn't always indicate what's happening. So I'm like waiting for Absco to this just is say, true. am I going or not? No, Absco just kind of looks around and they're like, we've already gone fishing. We, we don't need <laughs> anything. They don't look like they have anything. Let's just go to Eox. Sounds good to me. Let's go. Oh, all right. And with that, and with that, you are able to disengage your thrusters and safely engage your drift drive. Enter the drift. Woo! Hurrah! That was unexpected and fast. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, Jess. 
Uh, that natural 20 was brilliantly <laughs> timed. <laughs> it really was. I'll get all the good rolls right now so that when I play with my group on Blue Rose later, I'll just roll nothing but nonsense, and it'll look great. <laughs> and I'll be so disappointed in myself, knowing that I could have rolled better, and I used them all on Starfinder. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, so for your group, they're welcome. <laughs> I just, just would like to say you're welcome. I, I'm soaking up all of the good rolls here for you. All right. Do we need to roll for how long we're in the drift, and then be done for to, for this round? And so, your calculations tell you that it should take you four days in the drift. Cool. Awesome. Drift. And. With that, I think that is all the time we have for this episode. So for experience points, I'm Miu. You can catch me on Twitter and Twitch at Miu Plays Games. I'm Kelrick. You can catch me at EQ Points or at Cormalon. That's C-O-R-M-A-L-L-O-N. I'm Taylor. You can find me on Twitter at Milky Games. That's G-A-Y-M-E-S. I'm Megan, and you can find me on Twitter at Dungeons and Meg. I'm Punder. You can find me on Twitter at Punder Drone, D R O N E. Sorry, and we want to give a very special thank you again to our special guest, Jess. <laughs> I'm Jess. You can find me on Twitter at Right Jeff R. And we will catch you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.